NIA is continuing with its investigation in the uh, terror gangster narco case. Today, in a massive action that was taken by the NIA, at least 53 locations across North India were raided simultaneously. And once these raids got over, several people have been detained. Along with that, incriminating documents as well as uh, arms and ammunition have also been recovered by the NIA. Now, what was this raid for and who were raided is some of the questions that will be asked. So today, the raids that were conducted by the NIA, this was basically to bust the kind of terror gangster nexus that has come to the fore, in fact, which has been unearthed by the NIA and post the scenario that happened in Canada, the NIA and the Indian government is now trying to make sure that if at all Canada does not respond to the requests of India, then the entire nexus is at least broken down out here in India. There, were basic, there are basically two gangs that are operating out of Punjab. These two gangs are the Bambiya gang as well as the Lawrence Bishnoi gang. Now, the, uh, the accusation against these gangs are that these are the on-ground workers, whereas their heads, of, uh, heads who want to support the Khalistan movement are actually stationed in places in North America, along with that in Euro, uh, Europe uh, as well. And they are the people who are controlling the entire Khalistani movement or who are actually uh, trying to control or who are... Uh, in fact, going ahead and trying to create some sort of unrest in the state of Punjab. Now, what happens is that these head, head, heads of these gangs, the Khalistani supporters, are stationed outside India. There are on-ground workers who have been deployed on the ground over here. The basic job of these on-ground workers is to make sure that they go ahead and threaten people. Who are these people? These people are businessmen, these people are film producers, these people are people from the Punjabi music industry. Threaten them and take protection money from them. Once that protection money is given to them, th this money is then sent to places in Canada as well as in the, uh, Europe and places in North America as well uh, by the way of Hawala and that money is eventually returned to India by the way of Pakistan and that money is not directly returned. That money is, is being used to buy weapons, to buy arms and ammunition, to buy drugs and to transport them to India by the way of Pakistan. Now, in a charge sheet that was filed by NIA this year itself, it was very clearly stated that this entire crime or this entire syndicate is being run on the behest of the uh, Pakistani intelligence agency that is the ISI. ISI is also one of the most important funders in this entire uh, syndicate that is going, ongoing in Punjab. Now, this is not the first raids that have taken place or this is not the first time that the NIA has gone ahead and conducted so many sim raids simultaneously in the state of Punjab. Remember, 51, uh, location, 53 locations in fact were raided today, out of which 30 locations were in Punjab as well. And this was to make sure that the on-ground workers of the Lawrence Bishnoi gang, of the Bambiya gang, of the Ashdalla gang, uh, are taken into custody. Their backbone is broken because remember Ashdala. Ashdala is a de designated Khalistani terrorist and he is stationed in Canada at this point in time and he is also being said to be very, very close to Hardeep Singh Nijar who was just killed uh, who, who was just killed in Canada. So all these, uh, all these gang members, all these heads of these gangs are making sure that their entire business is being funded from India itself, apart from the work that uh, work that they do outside India. For example, uh, the fundraisers, etc., that uh, that happen in in Europe and Canada. Um, the basic job of the on-ground workers is to make sure that their entire syndicate is working on the ground. Now, the Indian government, the Punjab government, is now trying to make sure that this entire backbone of this entire syndicate is broken which means that the people who are stationed inside India, the people who are already inside India and are trying to create uh, some sort of uh, unpleasantness in the state of Punjab, those people are brought to the book, uh, brought to the book and the entire uh, nexus and the entire syndicate is actually brought to the ground and that is the reason why we are seeing such heavy handed action that is being taken by both the central agencies as well as the state, uh, state government to contain the kind of um, the kind of mechanism that is actually prevalent in the state of Punjab. Now, these raids that have happened today are said to be a big, big success for the NIA because not only several people have been detained from across North India, but also incriminating documents about their future plans uh, along with that uh, along with that weapons, arms and ammunition and digital evidences have also been recovered by the NIA, which means that very soon we are going to see some sort of another action that would be taken by the NIA because at this point in time, the Indian government is not ready to rest until and unless the entire backbone of this nexus is broken out out here in India and there is absolutely no threat of the ISI or any other foreign agency in the peace of, of, of maintaining the social fabric of the country.